So gosh, I don't even know where to start this weekend. Uh, we're still messing with this truck. Philip thinks that the torque converter might be the wrong one, so they're going to take the transmission back down and uh, take it over to Nogalitos and have them check it because um, the bolt holes and the flywheel don't, holes don't lie up, line up correctly. Um, got a little bit of the mess with the John Deere's cleaned up, and I'm going to start working on this one today. Uh, I just need to hook up that fuel pump I bought online. It's one of those electric 12-volt um, fuel pumps because the fuel pump is actually missing and the carburetor and the seat and the whatever so this was his parts vehicle i'm pretty sure so i got all like i said like one weekend i got all the power and everything up to uh where it's clicking the solenoid i've got that starter off of the other one that i'm going to put on there uh, the fuel pump's missing right there so i'm going to hook up that electric one and then um i'll plug that hole with a cap or something if i need to and then uh, see if it'll start. I think that motor will run though, and that's a nice 17 and a half horsepower, so that should be a pretty decent mower. Then I'll just look around for some stuff, or um, maybe I'll just make this one. It is a hydro though, so I'm kind of worried that maybe that's why it's parked and he's selling it, was uh, maybe the hydro is not working on it. This one finally figured out what it is. Um, I have a good video I'll show you. Uh, it's the uh, input bearings is what the the forum saying uh, there the the rear pulley wiggles quite a bit so I think I'm gonna take that off this weekend and tear it apart just to take a look um, you know it's still decent mower I mean you know nothing wrong with it other than sitting for two years now or a year and a half um, because and collecting uh, sap and stuff from all those flowers and then this guy I'm I'm done with him I've got everything off of him that I need and I'll probably I'm just gonna keep him for a while because I'm gonna make a little I'm just gonna put a live axle back there and I'll probably leave these for some small little wheels or redo the steering or something um, and then make a small little go-kart just a little low to the ground little go-kart thing out of it and this guy I got running so now I just need to get some tires for him uh, these are 13 6.5 and they do rub right here on uh, this piece right here so um, when I looked up this model, it's 13.6 or 13 by 6.0 is the tires that are recommended for it. Um, also, this motor was a touch different than that motor over there, way over there. The one I took out with the valve cover off and everything else, um, which I got off of the one out there I'm going to make a go-kart on. So it's a little different. The air breather is a little different. So I'm going to have to find that one for, I'll look up the model for this Kohler and check it out and see. But other than that, it just needs tires and it's ready to go. Um, got it all wired and everything. The problem was is that I ended up having to put this starter back on this mower because this mower didn't have a solenoid back here under the battery like the motor that I took it off of. And that's because this one had the starter with the solenoid built into it. So by moving this motor to this frame, I lost the solenoid and the wiring because it was wired up to this solenoid. Anyway, got that problem figured out. Um, that was why it was sparking when I was plugging it in and everything because it was trying to start right away uh, with that starter right there. So this starter works and that's the one I'm going to put on the... L110 or whatever it is out there, 11, I don't know what model it is, the 17.5. So I'm going to put that one out there, and then that's the relay out of it, because at first I thought maybe it was a bad relay, and then I finally figured out that it was, because there was no starter solenoid, and it was getting power all the time. So really, um, that's about it. Whoa, yeah, one more thing. I'm trying to work on that blue golf cart, uh, the, the clutch over here. This clutch. Um... It's sticking, and I think I said that in my last video. So I'm trying to figure out how to get that, uh, I think it's called a spider off the top. Because um, the triangle thing here, this piece uh, screws onto the shaft. And that's really where the problem is, is that this, this has a, you can feel the friction in it. It doesn't, see like right there, it's supposed to fall down because of gravity, and it doesn't. Um, you know, and that's, that's what... Uh, well, the springs and stuff push it down, but there it goes. But coming back up is the problem. It doesn't spread apart like it's supposed to when it's out. And you can see the rust and the grime and nasty stuff in there. So 
So I think I'll probably just weld them, you know, try to weld me a three piece. I tried a board with some bolts that didn't work. So I'm just gonna weld something up. I got a bunch of scrap and some old bolts and junk and whatever. So I'll just rig something up. I've looked at a couple of uh, removal tools online and there's one I like for this one. Um, it's basically instead of three nubs, it's got three flat plates on each side. So I'll just measure and make me something like that. Um, and then, you know, you use a half inch uh, breaker bar or whatever to break it off. So that's probably what I'm gonna play with this morning, rig that up. And then that way I can get that golf cart because that's all it needs is that cleaned. Um, and then that thing's running great. So finally figured out what the issue was of a, because it was going, uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh, you know, every time you try to start it. But if you lift it off the ground, it'd just great, it'd start and go easy. So, um, but that's the problem is that that belt's not releasing all the way. And so it's causing, you know, friction and hard to start and stuff. So, and then I'm just going to finish up these lawnmowers and get them out of here. And uh, hopefully I can get all of that done. The, the clutch. This lawnmower completely put back together because, uh, like I said, I'll probably just put those wheels on there for now. I found a pair on Amazon for like 50 bucks for both front tires, so it can't beat that. And then um, that one will be uh, ready to mow. I can We can use it as a backup, or if uh, both of us mow, it you know takes half the time. So I'm going to do that, and then I'd like to get that 17 running, so I'm going to test it out. At least if I can get it started and running so I know it's uh, worthwhile, then I'll start ordering some parts for it. But um, yeah, just another fun weekend. It'll go by quick, like always. So anyway, hope you enjoy and check back on Wednesday. I think, um, I think I'll have that clutch video up for that. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be that or the flower bed. And uh, as always, just get outside, do something, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.